I'm Courtney and welcome to Courtney's Cakes. Today we're going to do a unicorn cake. I have done unicorn cupcakes but today we're going to do the cake. Okay for this I used a red velvet cake. Um, you can use any kind you want. Well to be honest this happened to be my dad's birthday cake but anyways it's about to be a unicorn cake and he'll just yeah. I made him cupcakes too so it's not going to really matter but He's going to be wondering why his birthday cake is a unicorn cake, but he should expect that from me. <laughs> okay, and for this, you're going to need some white fondant. We're going to cover our cake in white fondant. You will need, this is how I made the ears. I used this little, like, cone-shaped thing. Um, you make flowers with this, but I made the ears out of it. You will need uh, gold luster dust with some vanilla. <clears throat> A paintbrush to paint it on a black edible marker I'm using sprinkles you can use whatever colors you want I've got some pink I've got two different white uh, pearls uh, one's really tiny one's a little bit bigger and then I use pink icing with a 1m tip teal icing with an 18 tip and I use the purple icing with a 16 tip all right, we're gonna start out by rolling our, out our white fondant and we're gonna cover our cake in it. Okay, once we have our fondant smoothed out, take some powdered sugar and just put it over the top of this because we're about to roll it up on our little uh, rolling pin here and this will keep it from sticking. cake over oh, you don't want this sticking so add as much as you like to it okay. all right now we got that and then position it any way you need to I'm just gonna knock off the excess powdered sugar but you're going to just work it down and make it as smooth as possible and where I have a lot of excess I go ahead and I cut that off that way you're not having to work around that okay now that we have our cake completely covered and smoothed out we're gonna take and we're gonna make some ears for our unicorn cake and we're also going to make uh, the horn for it so <clears throat> all right we're gonna start with the little horn here I already made one because you need to let it set overnight but you're gonna take and roll just roll out some fondant you're gonna need two pieces about the same size and you're going to need a wooden dowel. And you can measure this out, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Alright, take your wooden dowel. And you're going to just wrap this around it. And you're just going to cover it like that at the top I just take and twist it a little bit to make it a little pointier and that's all you have to do for the horn it's super simple um just take and put this standing up don't lay it down or it will flatten and uh, then we're going to cover it in uh, some gold here in a minute but anyways, that's super simple. Okay, next we're going to make the little ears. And here are my ears. And these definitely have to be done in advance for them to hold their shape. And basically, if you have a cookie cutter that is the shape of a leaf or whatever, um, I didn't have one this big that I wanted. So um, I just kind of freehanded it. But I used this little cone that you make um, flowers 
and I don't remember what flower it is. But anyways, I just took and rolled some fondant out. <clears throat> don't make them super thin, but don't make them like really chunky or they're going to take forever to dry. So, and I just take and just cut it whatever shape I want it since I didn't have a cookie cutter. Almost like, looks like a leaf or maybe an eye. I don't know. Put some Crisco down in there and then you're gonna take and just lay these down in there, push all the way to the end and flatten it some so it goes with the curve. It'd be just like that. And if any sticking out and it starts to droop, just take a paper towel and kind of wedge it underneath it or you can stuff some paper towel down in here. That way it kind of keeps its form. You just kind of have to play around with it. Um, but I did stuff like some paper towels down in there. Um, that way it wouldn't just, you know, collapse or whatever. But like I said, make sure you put something on there to make sure it doesn't stick. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. All right, now I have a little bit of our, um, I put just a little bit, if you can, see of our vanilla extract that smells so good and here's our gold luster dust and I'm putting a lot because I kind of want it kind of a thick mixture here is my horn that I have let set and you're just going to take and you're just going to brush on your mixture here and you can go over it several times if you want to it just depends on how much gold you want on there so and mine's kind of watered down a little bit but that's okay all right so i'm gonna let that dry now i'm gonna take my ears and do the center of them gold all right now we're going to start assembling our hair and stuff so we're gonna need our horn and I'm gonna pick this is the front and I'm gonna put my horn right about here and I'm not gonna smush down the top because I don't want to mess it up this is all this is kind of optional as to how you want to draw on your cake but I'm gonna do a little swirl of pink in the front. And really just mix your colors wherever you want. And we're gonna go down the back of it too. I made the majority of mine pink because I wanted more pink than anything. All right, now I'm gonna fill in with some blue. And really just make whatever kind of pattern you like. Then I'm going to take my purple and add some of that in different places. And where I messed up on some of my big roses, I'm just going to take and fill it in. And I'll just go back and forth till I'm done. All right, now we're gonna add some sprinkles. I was gonna put these pinks, but we're not. We're just gonna go white. I think that it will look a lot better. Just toss them on there. <laughs> we'll be finding these for a month in the floor. And these, oh wow, these stick pretty good. <laughs> Then I'll take a few of the larger ones and just kind of sprinkle them around. You can never go wrong with pearls. I love pearls. Ooh, things are rolling everywhere. This is kind of fun. <laughs> throw them they stick really good 
Okay, the next thing is going to be doing the eyes on it. And they're going to be like little half circles. Well, let's see how good I can freehand this. This kind of makes me nervous. Trying to center this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because once you draw it on there, it is on there. It is not coming off. And there's no way of covering that up. So, there you go. And I'm going to make them a little thicker. You could do this with some black icing, but I didn't want to have to make some black icing. So, this is so much easier just to use my little pen. Or I say it's easier. <laughs> oh. Okay, and now we're just gonna do two little winged tips out like that. Make them a little thicker. Not too bad. Considering I can't draw very well. <laughs> And the last thing is to add our ears. Just press those down in there. And I made these longer so that they would, I would have more to stick in the cake. So, and there you have it, our unicorn cake. I'll list the recipes and everything down below uh, since I didn't show me actually making the cake. Um, but I'll list, you know, anything you will absolutely need for this cake, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.